What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how to style those oxblood slash burgundy shoes. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Anthony Johnston, salute. So let me talk to you a little bit about how this video came to be. So the other day I'm getting ready for work and as usual for the finished touch, I'm gonna grab what color dress shoes, black or brown. Or maybe I'll grab brown or black. I'm like, I'm tired of wearing these same color shoes all the time. Then it occurred to me, I never wear my Oxblood loafers. So then the light bulb went off. I wonder if my Style OG family finds themselves doing the same thing, either wearing black or brown, brown or black. So what I thought, let me show you how you can work Oxblood or Burgundy into your rotation for a little pop of color and some versatility. Now Oxblood or Burgundy, you can use the terms interchangeably, as I will in today's video, is a much more versatile color than you may think. Although it can be very striking, it matches a wide range of other colors. I'm talking about your blacks and your browns, but especially I'm fond of wearing it with grays and blues. So what I've got for you in today's lookbook, I'm gonna use these same burgundy loafers throughout to show you how you can ease oxblood into your wardrobe quite easily. And I'm gonna focus on the two main colors you and I probably wear the most, blue and gray. I'm gonna show you how you can do it dressier, casual, and everything in between like I always do. So without further ado, let's get into this burgundy shoe lookbook. Now for our first look today, I wanted to show you by grabbing a pair of burgundy shoes you can add a pop of color to your regular old pair of jeans. As you can see here, we have my patent leather burgundy tassel loafers matched up with a pair of slim fit medium wash jeans. And up top, we have a couple of colors that go very well with burgundy. That being black with this black crew neck sweater and dark gray with this dark gray tweed blazer. Add a little bit of contrast under the sweater with the white button-up shirt. And we have what I think looks great for a crisp fall weekend or perhaps a business casual look during early spring. Now for our second look today, we're going from the fall all the way to the summer to show you just how well burgundy shoes can add a little pop any time of the year. Now this look here today is when I actually wore myself this past summer to a nighttime summer wedding. The great thing about this look is that although I just have a regular old plain blue chino suit and a chambray tie, the burgundy shoes add a little pop to make the look not be so boring. And of course, underneath, because we have the pop of the burgundy shoes, we don't need to get so fancy, so we just have a good old crisp white dress shirt. All in all, a great look for that evening wedding during the summer months where you can look put together but add just a little bit of pop of color. Now for our third look today, I wanted to show you just how well burgundy shoes go with one of my favorite kind of pants to wear them with, dark denim. As you can see here, once again, we have the burgundy tassel loafers, but this time going with my tried and true slim fit dark wash jeans. And notice, once again up top, we have the color that goes very well with burgundy, of course, gray, with this gray v-neck sweater. And like I usually like to do with my v-necks, I like to throw a white button up underneath with just a little bit of contrast between the white and the gray. All in all, I think this is a fantastic look to go out on a date on a fall or spring evening. And for our last and final look today, I wanted to show you how adding a pair of burgundy shoes can bring some life to even the most conservative of outfits. As you can see here, once again, we have our same burgundy tassel loafers, but this time we have it paired with a nice pair of glen clad gray wool trousers. And up top, regular old conservative look with a navy blazer and our tried and true shirt and tie combination of a light blue shirt and a navy tie. Add a bit, a little bit of detailing with this nice green plaid pocket square. All in all, I think a great way to add a little life 
to a regular good old conservative look. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how to style those ox blood slash burgundy shoes. Let me know in the comment section, are you a burgundy shoe guy? As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll meet you here tomorrow.